How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30, and I had a little bit of an oopsie this morning. No, nothing bad happened. I just went to work and found out I wasn't scheduled to work today, so... Sweet! It just means I get to sp spend more time making videos for you guys. So, my plan at this moment is to record four videos today. I'm just going to record four videos. Um, a couple... Two of which will be uh, the Rooster Teeth series I need to catch up on. No, one of them will be... The, one will be a Red vs. Blue episode, and the other one will be one of the part one of the season finale of MLP, uh, season eight. Uh, but the other two, um, this one right here uh, was my pick, and the next one is going to be a, a request. So... I will do upload the two requests today, and the other two will get kind of put on private until the copyright can go through with those. So, anywho, and I may I may do a fifth one. It's possible, and that one would be a a fan requested one as well. But anywho, this is a first for the channel. If you read the title, it is a death battle. That's right, we're doing our first death battle on the channel. Now, I've seen a couple, a few death battles before. Like, I've seen the Rainbow Dash versus Starscream. I've seen uh, Master Chief versus Doom Guy. I've seen uh, Pinkie Pie versus Deadpool. I've seen Deadpool versus Deathstroke. I, I've seen Carolina versus the Meta. I've seen I've seen a fair few of these. But anywho, I'm not, this is a 20-minute video. I don't want to waste any more time getting into this so a link to the original video will be in the description as always go give Stru screw attack their views that they deserve because they always put a lot of effort into this and let's just go ahead and go you know what would be a pretty memorable holiday present what would that be gift of genetic discovery 23 me dna kits are on sale from now until december 25th it's a testing service that can provide insight into your ancestry health wellness and traits and it's okay super easy to use just spit in a tube mail it in set up an online account and then they'll send you a personalized report in just a few weeks like they do with ancestry.com unknown here at death battle so i tried it myself and found out i have a bunch of relatives over in the uk i never knew about now until december 25th get 30 percent off any 23me kit by ordering at 23me okay interesting so a competitor me Competitor to Ancestry.com looks like. Alright, let's get into this. Let's go ahead and go. I came here for the fight. Roshi versus Jiraiya. Let's see which... Finest warriors are never developed on their own. While some are simply molded by their enemies, the best usually seek the wisdom of a master. Yeah. For some reason is a weird old pervert like Roshi. Yeah. Hermit and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. And Jiraiya, the Toad Sage and instructor yep. to the most famous oh. ninja of all. This is basically Dra a Dragon Ball Z versus Naruto again type deal. Who would win a death battle. We always imagine these scenarios. Now we got another one. Goku is, without a doubt, one of the greatest martial arts champions of all time. Yep. Well, yeah, super Beast. Rival gods become a Super Saiyan and even Master Ultra Instinct. But he never would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master Roach. True. A martial artist who's so powerful, there's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, two things really. <laughs> you get what I mean. I know your game, old man, and I don't want to play. Sheesh. When he was a hip youngin', Roach, he studied under the legendary Master Potato. Mutaito. And a kitty cat. Mutaito. Yeah. Real life Chinese martial arts, ki is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your ki becomes. Mm -hmm. Roshi can use his ki to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of awesome techniques. He can fire explosions. Oh, he is. Buff mode, he is awesome. With thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined these techniques and created his own martial arts style. Uh huh. Turtle school. Creepy old man turtle school. Creepy old man turtle school. <laughs> Roshi and I have two. Eat a turtle. No, it's That's not about beating people up. It's, it's a pretty good. Like I first thought, it's a pretty good. <laughs> up a mountain, plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple 
tools and being chased by both sharks and bees, all while wearing a 50-pound shell, Roshi's mind no. focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way. Except okay. Despite you can't fly. Students learning it at some point. Flight is actually a technique developed by his rivals, the Crane School. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, even after centuries of experience. Oh. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed or the mysterious paradise herb, he's just shy of 360 years old. Damn, okay. I'm just impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. Boomstick, that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess medical... Yeah, what they said. Roshi's... Some of this paradise grass. Somewhat immortalized, in a way. Good luck with it. But with all of those years spent honing his talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to developing one revolutionary technique. Kame! Yeah, we all know it. Yeah, boy. Anyway, <laughs> honest, devastating is an understatement. Yep, especially when Goku uses it. it. Fifty this years. Was inspired by the real life flaming mountains in China, standing up to two thousand six hundred feet tall. With this in mind, okay. we find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly four gigatons of TNT. Yeah. Small stuff compared to the time he obliterated the entire moon in about five seconds. Oh boy. Yeah. He can. He can. I've seen him do it. Something to put on my gun list later. <laughs> Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about three feet, which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second in order to catch them all. Uh huh. Oh, my hands can move that fast. I'd finally stop getting married. This Bruh. is far from his limit, but Roshi's true talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Yep. Sadly, Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just how um, really Yeah, is. that is a drawback. Too much key energy can cause all sorts of problems, like when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters on Oh yeah. He's tough enough to take down dozens of Despite the perviness, he is still a good fighter. Dragon Ball Super manga, Roshi is shown to be so collected in battle, his movements sort of emulate those of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take huh. him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted, but genius yep. young man he is a, never stopped training. He is a great talent. Especially when he gets super buff. In our next corner! Among the ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village, few are quite as impressive. Naruto Uzumaki. Yeah, I know that's crazy, cause you know, but not he used to not be. Aliens on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch. Naruto <laughs> becomes a hidden <laughs> champion and Hokage. I haven't heard that but one before. This would never have been possible without his training under the dynamic Toad Sage and legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. But they really Gallant, huh? split the moon. Why do the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird pervs? Oh uh, well, don't let his. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. Nothing surprises me anymore. What the? <laughs> A timely commercial break. What the? <laughs> that that was good. Hey, that was a good edit there. <laughs> well, yeah.
I haven't seen any of Boruto, so I have no idea what goes on in there past the Naruto canon. But, like, holy play. No, I didn't want you to exit a full screen. Yeah, what the fuck? Technical difficulties is right. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yep. Ninja magic. Similar to ki, chakra is a form of life energy. In Hindu and Buddhist theologies, chakras are, in simplistic terms, gates within the human body, which uh -huh. is a race to achieve enlightenment. However, in the world of Naruto, yeah. chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques. It is. Jutsus. And Naruto has the like most ninja, eight inner gates. Taijutsu, or hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ninjutsu, harnessing chakra as elemental weapons. Yes. Genjutsu, Genjutsu, and the last one is uh, Sage Jutsu. Senjutsu. A method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. Why the buffer? Yeah, I haven't seen any of Dragon Ball Super, though I know that there are a lot of over the top things that have occurred since. And why are you giving me a low ass quality? Why are you going to 480p? I mean, come on. Give me give me the 1080. I need nothing less than 720. Bare minimum, please. But anywho, yeah. But each of those worlds have their own unique and great powers. And it's just like, it's more over the top in certain areas, for sure. I kind of think, I kind of think that Roshi might come out on top in this fight. Like, I'm, I'm kind of calling it now. I haven't seen the rest of this. But just in, but we'll see. Um, just because his Kamehameha is powerful enough to destroy the moon. I don't think Jiraiya can do that. I have not seen him perform anything on that scale. He can get a giant Rasengan, which is a powerful attack in and of itself, but it's not enough to destroy an entire... destroy. I don't think it's enough to destroy a mountain, let alone a moon. Yep. Yep. Fourth Hokage made that one. Research. Yep. Uh huh. Clearly, Jiraiya sometimes took his tinkering a bit too far. On one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant. Which is where he learned Senjutsu. Fukasaku. Mm-hmm. One impressive loogie. Yep, he taught Naruto how to do the same. While well, summoning can quickly drain. Yeah, he has excellent chakra control. Yeah, he didn't perfect it. Something that they're probably going to state, they might state in this, is that the sage jutsu, in order to get it, you need to build, build upon you some nature energy. And if you take in too much nature energy, you start to turn into a frog. Like what we saw with Naruto and when he had that oil on his arm, like a minute or so ago. He never perfected learning how to do that, so that's where those fusions come in place, where they have, he has the two toad sages on his shoulders, and they draw in the nature chakra for him. 
Through their combined efforts, we entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Mm -hmm. Well, it takes a long time to get into. Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable yep. martial arts frog Kata, and a deadly genjutsu, the demonic illusion Toad Confrontation Chant. Which sounds weird, so why don't we just call it your f jutsu? Cause if yeah. you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high-five, leaving your physical body totally open to a yep. small kill. Sage Mode also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities, turning his normal Rasengan into the unstoppable Big Ball Rasengan. Oh yeah. Which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Whiz, he's way more... Uh, okay, I was slightly wrong on that. ...the mountain smasher. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja. Yep, um... He he was definitely one of the best in the Naruto series. It was him, like he was part of the three Sanin. It was him, Orochimaru, and Tsunade. Each of them had learned their own summonings, made packs with the different mountains, uh, sages and whatnot. And uh, yeah, they all became really powerful after that. But Jiraiya and Orochimaru seemed to especially do that. But but really, um. Yeah, Jiraiya was a badass, and, uh, like, the biggest reason, like, he he does die in the show. Uh, spoiler alert, for those who haven't seen it. Um, but that's only be mainly because he was going up against an opponent who had control over six bodies, and who had a very, very powerful um, ocular jutsu, which, if you watch Naruto, you know what I mean by that. Round, like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are fast enough to intercept lightning. The yep. leader of a lightning bolt moves around 220,000 miles per hour, putting Ninja like Jiraiya around speeds of Mach 280. Now I get why ninja are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than 100 times faster than bullets? While Jiraiya isn't exactly the strongest or fastest ninja around, yeah. he's certainly one of the most clever. Over he is time, definitely very he's clever. A legendary ninja and a hero of his people, hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And he's a... Okay, I want to point something out here. This is saying it Itachi Uchiha, total badass by the way, claimed that if he fought Jiraiya without backing down, both of them would die, even with allies at Itachi's back. Itachi is one of the deadliest ninja to ever exist. He is. He once wiped out his and he wiped out his entire clan except for his brother, um, for reasons I won't get into in case you've seen the show, in case you haven't seen the show. But you know, each of those ninja had what he had, which is the Sharingan. Very, it helps them get very powerful jutsu, able to copy jutsu, able to figure out uh, an opponent's next move, and enhances regular jutsu, jutsu that would normally be, you know, maybe normal grade. So, and he, and he was not the only one of his clan to have that. In fact, many, many of his clan had it, so, and he managed to kill all of them. So, that ought to tell you something. For one and two, he's a he's been able to do a hell of a lot of stuff. So yeah, that just gives an indication of how tough Jiraiya is if Itachi's not willing to fight him one on one. Gutsy one, like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band Pain. Yep, they emo rock band. But even while suffering excruciating agony. Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the uh -huh. way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know, I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. Yeah. As you can see, you fail. Jiraiya the Toad Sage falls victim to no woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me. When you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness. No. <laughs> Both, uh, yeah, I, f I figured that him and Roshi would get along really well in that department. Um, so that's kind of why I'm like, well, we got the two, we got the pervy sage, and the other pervy sage, basically. Roshi's like the original, the OG pervy sage. Except he taught his students beams that could destroy mount, destroy entire mountain ranges. So, but anywho, anywho though... Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, if you're as hungry as I am for this fight, you may be interested in Blue Apron. 
By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal... I will allow you to have your ad. But did you know about all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? Like the honey chipotle glazed chicken with poblano and lime rice. Don't make me hungry. It's still in the morning. I've already eaten. All recipes each week. All you have to do is choose the two, three, or four that sound best to you, and they deliver it right to your door. Plus, it's super simple to cook. It's got easy to follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. You're making me want to do this, and I don't have the money to do this right now. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal yeah. I can whip up with ease. It is so nice. Check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at Blue Apron. I may try that at some point in my life, but not now. I cannot afford it. I just cannot afford it. Between the two pervs. Buy and signed. Oh. You fool. Words paint a thousand beautiful Joseph, pictures. that's what they fight over. Yeah, he'd be fast enough even with that shell on. Jeez, don't take it personally. Not like you wrote the damn thing. But I did. Oh. Yeah. He did write the dang thing. That's Jiraiya's thing. That's what he does his research for. He ogles women, pervs on them, spies on them, peeping Tom, so he can write perverted books. It just clicked. He's been writing hentai. <laughs> Kakashi, you dirty bastard. You've been reading hentai in front of your students. <laughs> uh, but it keeps going slow. And when I don't can't afford for it to be going slow, because I don't want this video to go over 25 minutes, but it's probably already over that. Okay. In all seriousness... Okay, so, going back to what they were saying about the fighters, each of their strengths, weaknesses, and what they do, I'm still kind of leaning towards Roshi, because right now, he's able to dodge Jiraiya's uh, hair needles while wearing that shell. A shell which, the guy said, weighed about 50 pounds. He takes that shell off, he'll be even faster. One, and two... Once he buffs up, he'll be even stronger. But Jiraiya, I don't know if he's going to call on him. He might. But he does have the sages. He does have the toad sages, so they might plop themselves on his shoulders and give him that extra boost of power. So, that will help leave, uh, even the playing ground some. And what they were said, which proved me wrong about how strong Jiraiya was, like his big Rasengan could crush a mountain. So, they both have the power to destroy mountains. Yeah, Roshi's the only one who actually destroyed the moon. So, we'll see how that compares. But I just hate that the video's been so, going so slow today. Okay. Come on, fight. There we go. Who were you summoning? Oh, that's why it didn't seem like it was loading, because there was an ad ready. Uh, I don't want to see you mortal engines. I'm not watching that movie. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Pass. I mean, good for the guys for getting ads on their videos so they can get monetized. Hell, they get paid more than I do. So. How are you guys doing today? You doing good? I'm doing alright. I'm doing just peachy. Yes, load. Genjutsu or the... the frog stomach wall? Frog stomach wall. Now, 
Oh. Busting that out already. That did right. You didn't stop nothing. That Kamehameha will blow through that. Easy. What is with this buffer? I am sorry to take you out of the immersiveness of this video, guys. I do not know why it is continuing to do this. I obviously have an internet connection because it still is loading, albeit kind of slowly. I don't know, unless the internet's being used elsewhere in the house, which is a possibility. But, still, shouldn't be, like, shouldn't be too bad. Uh, this video is probably going to push 30 minutes. No, I did not want that, but... Uh, oh, brother. It's either wait for it to bu wait for it to load enough to where it won't stop anymore, or pause it every time it does this. Which I don't want to do either, because that both are going to slow down the times. Okay, I'm going to go now. He's got his shield. Uh, will that be enough to protect against the Kamehameha? No. Oh, they were in a frog. Okay. Oh, that's right. Shadow Clone Jutsu. Roshi is fast, though. And plenty strong. Come on. Again. I shall look up memes to tell to you guys. So you guys may hopefully laugh between the buffer. This pain in the A. What has helped you during sad times? Chicken. Yay, 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 yay. I'm gonna read this one. This should be after I read this story. It should be loading up and loaded up enough where we can continue watching. So there's only one channel in this motel. This morning, while I was getting ready, I was watching Sesame Street. They were doing this bit where some clown was trying to wash his hands, but kept washing his feet or his elbows. And Elmo would go, "No, Mr. Noodle, your hands!" And all the TV kids would laugh. I remember Mr. Noodle. He was a funny character to watch. Very funny character. Around the fourth or fifth time he couldn't find his hands i heard a grown man yell from somewhere else in the hotel gee damn it mr noodle literally my favorite story on all of tumblr speaking of tumblr bye bye to all the porn uh, porn people or hentai people etc that post any lewd stuff y'all about to go bye bye and torn porn and then tumblr is going to die that is exactly what will happen to tumblr by the way <laughs> was all those guys all the all the hentai and lewd people will be gone, and then Tumblr will just like, uh, nope, I'm gonna die. Anyhow, now let's continue. Their own paper bombs. Okay. Oh, Rasengan to the gut. Like, Roshi could survive that, I'm sure. No, without a doubt. But it would still... Hurt. That gotta hurt. What are you gonna do, Roche? Crushing his house? Whoa, Roche! Get off my lawn! Yeah. Yeah, he is. He's very fast. Very powerful, too. 
again with the buffer. I thought we would have a little more time than this, but apparently not. All of the salt is real. Speaking of salt, Smash Brothers Ultimate is a fun game. I went over to my friends yesterday, or well, the day before yesterday, spent the night, and uh, it was really, 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 fu really fun. Like, as my friend was playing the main story mission, and we would go back and forth in the in the Smash mode. Like we would always have the challengers show up, and when we and when Pac Man showed, I was like, "It's my boy! It's the Pac! Pac Man is is the one I am best at. Pac Man is my boy. Um, I did play Lucario for quite some time, and I and I do know his skill set fairly well. But uh, Pac Man, I know Pac Man. I can play Pac Man. I do. Pa I play Pac Man well. So, Pac-Man's my boy, and that's when I started winning was after he unlocked Pac-Man. <laughs> um, but at least he had not achieved the salt levels that one of our former co-workers used to. Back when we still worked, at, both still worked at Walmart, we had a co-worker who would bring in Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U, so Smash 4, basically. And if anyone was close to beating him, he would get really salty and want to quit the game. It was still fun, though. Oh! Screw you, you pervert! You guys forgot something important in this death battle. The Mafuba, which is what that is called, drains the life force of anyone using it. The, first, the one time we saw Roshi try using it, he died after failing it. Okay, that was something not taken into account for. Guys. You have no idea. I've been back on the beach the whole time. Yep, there he is. There, there we go. Okay. And here comes the Genjutsu. That's what I was wondering about that one. Three minutes left. It's got to be wrapping up within this minute, I believe. They're both at their peak forms. And they're both, you know, at basically at their full... They're both basically at full power. They're pulling out all the stops at this point. But in reality... To spin the actual show, Roshi would have already been dead because he get no one can use the Mafuba without dying because it uses that much power of your life energy. And at the age Roshi is, that's a definite. Like there's no way to avoid dying using the Mafuba. So these guys did not take that into account. So like I know there was some the the Goku versus Superman fight that they did. There was a lot of backlash saying Goku wouldn't have actually beaten Superman, they were saying. But, uh, even though they showed that Goku had killed, managed to beat Superman, even though a lot of people were going, no, this isn't how that would actually have worked. But, you know, <laughs> the retail worker mood. Courtesy of Brandon Rogers. You want to talk to my manager? Dave, some bitch wants to talk to you. Oh. You old fool. I can't believe you fell for that. Let's end this. Really? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. There's no question that Roshi's sheer might outclassed him. One guy can break a mountain, the other can break a moon. Yeah. So that was pretty obvious. The I called it. The comparison wasn't quite so clear-cut, though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast... 
Computer, next time, have the whole video loaded up instead of just this past ads. Like, you don't load up to an ad, stop it, and then act like, oh, we need to start the video all over. We need to start loading all of it everywhere past up. But yeah, I kind of called it because Roshi is stronger than Jiraiya. He is physically stronger, and energy-wise, he is also stronger on that front. And he, he can take more hits, and he's just able to dish out more. So, I agree with this ruling. Um, yeah, I will say that speed-wise, it is a close one. But strength, Roshi will definitely overpower. Jiraiya was a tricky opponent. But, uh, Roshi just managed to, well, it's loaded up enough, I hope. Keep loading as you play video, don't just stop. This is the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the tournament of power against planet and galaxy busters. Also, uh -huh. in Goku's training right after Korin's, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after uh -huh. chasing the kitty around. And neither did his kitty chasing. So, uh -huh. his progress, it makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed and probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to believe Jiraiya could use his technical yeah. talent to outsmart and outlast Roshi. Except, Roshi's a smart fighter, too. Not only does he have way more experience thanks to his super... I like that the they've they put in these little uh, asterisk boxes up here. To kind of put a little bit more explanation in some of the parts where they're not actually speaking. But yeah, and there were some techniques where I had that probably could have turned the fight in his favor. But they didn't... In the entirety of the manga or show, we never got clear rules as to how those techniques worked or when the best time to use them was. So, that's like, you can't base an argument around those moves where you have no idea how they actually work. Uh huh. Like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter, Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Given the moon's distance of over 200,000 miles from the surface of the Earth, this means the beam must have traveled over 57 million miles per hour. More than yeah, wow. Times faster than lightning. There was no way Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply uh. faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. Okay, so I'm gonna... They're not specifically saying what happened there. Which I think is a, little, is a slight misstep on their part. But what I'm seeing is... Like, just because Roshi was under the Genjutsu doesn't mean that he stopped moving. So that's why he kept going with the same speed and whatnot and was able to do that to Jiraiya. The winner is Master Roshi. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to see some exclusive commentary, make sure to click the box right over there. All right. And if you want the battle music from this episode, you can download it by clicking the link below. Next time... Oh. It I saw the box that it said that it, it was a war of gods and I saw what looked like uh hold on what looked like the big bad guy from the DC universe I'm trying yeah, and Thanos, the, the season finale is a war of gods. Thanos versus Dark Side. Okay. Well, th that would certainly the bi the biggest bad guy from DC versus the biggest bad guy from Marvel. That would be interesting. I don't know if I'll make a reaction to it, but we'll see. 
Anywho, this video's gone on long enough. Uh, go watch the original video, like I said. Like if you enjoyed. Comment down below whether you think this was right or whether you think this was wrong. This was wrong. What they said. Uh, whether you think I'm right or wrong. Uh, subscribe if you're new and tap the bell to get notified when I upload a video so you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me. This has been Lance Corporal Hawk 30.